Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is April, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my best and worst products of 2024 so far. I don't have a lot of products to talk about today, but by the end of the year, I will have much more to talk about, I'm pretty sure. This is just some of the products that I've been testing out. Now, there's products that are not going to be in today's video either because I'm not done testing them out, or I haven't tried it, or... They were just okay, they were not good enough to be in my best, and they weren't bad enough to be in my worst products, you know what I mean? So just keep that in mind. Before we get into today's video, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love if you would subscribe. Now, let's go ahead and get in today's video. I'm gonna start with the worst products since I don't have that many products to talk about and mainly they are lip products. I'm gonna start with this one. This is from Danessa Myricks and this is the Yummy Skin Water Powder Serum. Now, I really wanted this to work out for me. This claims that it's a mattifying and priming face serum. So I tried this out so many ways in so many different weather um, situations. I tried it here at home. I tried it in a really hot climate in Arizona and Vegas and I just feel like this didn't keep me mattified for as long as I wanted it to. And then the um, priming portion, I didn't see it doing anything for me. I feel like this is more of a serum than anything. I did notice that I had to use quite a bit of product in order to get it to look like smoothing on my skin, but I don't want to use a lot of product. This is not cheap. This is kind of expensive, so I don't want to have to use so much product to get um, the kind of look that I'm looking for. You know what I mean? If you're looking for a serum, then I would say maybe you want to check this out, but if you're looking for a mattifying primer, um, this is something that just did not work out. And it says you were supposed to like tip it without shaking it. I feel like you get too much product when you tip it out as well. That's another thing that I didn't like about this. But mainly just because it didn't do what it said it was going to do. And I didn't see any results from this. Moving on, I do have one bronzer contour. This is from Too Faced. Now, I'm sad because I know a lot of people did like this. This is, let's start off with what this is called. This is called the Melti Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick. I do have it in the shade Chocolate Souffle. This is a little bit too emollient for me. Now you can tell I've used quite a bit of product already and I haven't had it that long. Um, Yeah, it just, it gets everywhere. It's too messy and I feel like I don't have enough control when I put this on. I've tried it with the brush. I've tried it directly. I would not recommend putting this on directly onto the face. Um, this does remind me of the LYS bronzing stick, except that one is more emollient. I feel like this one's just a little bit better, but still, if you're a beginner in makeup, I don't think you would like this. And this has a really artificial chocolate smell I don't love. Usually I love Too Faced product when they smell, but this one just smells a little bit too fake for my preference and yeah I just have other cream stick bronzers that I like more than this lip products uh, let's start with these lip products um these are both plumping lip products you guys are probably already know what I'm going to talk about <laughs> one is from NYX this is the duck plump lip gloss and then this one is from Maybelline and this is the uh plump chili i don't know i'm not 100 sure but this is what it looks like um the chill the maybelline one i have 005 peach fever and then the one from nyx i have it in 04 apricot oh you guys i normally love a lip plumping product but these were really really bad these burned my mouth my throat oh my lips it was horrible Horrible. I did not like the feeling with these. I think I used both of these once and that was it <laughs> Like I can't use these again. These are just not good whatsoever Um, I don't know if I'm gonna pass these on to be honest because I don't know how people are gonna react to this And I don't want anybody to like, you know, have allergic reaction or anything like that So these might be tossed in the trash, which is unfortunate. I don't like to do that 
But I just, I can't see myself passing these on to anybody. I just, I'm afraid. And this one <laughs> from Merit. I'm sad about this one because I really do love Merit as a brand. But this one does not work for me. I am wearing this today. Um, let me tell you what it's called. First of all, this is the um, Signature Lip. Ooh, Signature Lip. Uh, matte lipstick I guess I can't read it oh my god this is so little it's in the shade classic now I like the color the color is okay however this emphasizes my lines on my lips so bad and it looks splotchy I'm trying to look for a mirror so I can see how it looks because I've had this on for a while now and yeah it just lays in my my lines like really really bad you're not gonna be able to tell even if I go close, but I could see it's just settling in my lip lines and it looks a little splotchy. Let me see if I can fix it. Yeah, it's still doing it. It's still settling in those lines and I just do not like that. I have other lipsticks that I like more that don't do that to my lips. And yeah, it's unfortunate because I really do like the other ones, the satin ones. I don't think that's what they're called, but... The original ones that they came out with, I like those ones way more than this one. I know a lot of people like these, but unfortunately, it just wasn't for me. The last product that's in my worst category is from Huda Beauty, and this is the Full Filter Lip Gloss, I believe. I have mine in the shade Foxy. Ooh, you guys. Again, I wanted to love this one. The reason why I didn't love this one is because this goes on so patchy on my lips. It's uneven. You could tell. Again, this also settles into my lines and my lips. Um, and I just do not love it whatsoever. The color, I'm not crazy about either. I'm not sure if only the dark colors do that. But still, it shouldn't do that regardless. Um, and quite, I, if I'm not mistaken, most of the lip glosses in this are dark. So... Yeah, for those reasons, I just could not get down with this lip gloss. It was just a little bit too thick for me. Okay, let's talk about the best products so far for 2024. I do have one primer, and this is from NYX, and this is the Blur Screen Primer. This has uh, SPF 30. This is supposed to be a blurring primer with sunscreen, and I love this. I feel like this is a great product, especially for the summertime because of the SPF. But I like this not only because of the SPF, but because this actually blurs my pores. I love this so much. You could wear it by itself. You could wear it underneath foundation. You could wear it so many different ways. I just really enjoyed this product and I haven't had it that long either. Um, I feel like I'm going to have to get another one because I feel like this is going to run out pretty soon. Definitely by the end of the summer because I have been going to the beach a lot lately and I've been using this. So I could definitely see myself repurchasing this all year round, not just for the summertime. And then I do have quite a bit of blushes that I want to mention. The first one, this isn't new new. This is just like a new shade to me. This is from Wet n Wild and this is the color icon blush in naked brown this is such a beautiful just neutral color blush i like it because it's not too pink it's not too brown it's just in the middle this goes with so many different looks you can wear this with anything i'm telling you so so pretty and i've used this so much that i could almost see the ring i don't know if you're going to be able to tell I don't think you're going to be able to see, but I could definitely see the ring starting to show up. Now, I am dark right now. I did get quite a bit of a suntan, so you can't really see it. You can build it up. That's what I like about this, but yeah, I do like this. Let me see if I could swatch it on this side of... Oh, yeah, you could see it better on this side, you see? Hopefully, you guys can see it, but that is what the color looks like. It's just a really nice blush and if you're a neutral girl like me you will definitely love that blush I and then the last blushes technically these aren't new this year the formula i believe is new this year but i'm not 100 percent sure um i'm talking about house labs i do have one of the old formulas and then one of the new formulas the new formula i have it in fire moon if i wasn't specific of the name this is the color fuse blush and like i said it's in 
fire moon again this is also another neutral pretty color this is more of the leaning towards the brown side of colors but it's still a really pretty neutral color let me go ahead and swatch it i should have left the swatch of the other color so you can see side by side but see how this one's just a little bit more darker let me go ahead let me just swatch the brown one from uh wet and wild so you guys can see what it looks like side by side Let's swatch it right here oh actually no the one from wet and wild is more darker but you see how they're almost identical in color so i definitely think if you didn't want to pick up the house labs the one from ColourPop, i mean from wet and wild is really good but i'm not 100 percent sure this is easy to find for people so just keep that in mind but going back to these blushes so i love the colors um this one is in the old formula but you still can get it in the new formula this one's in the shade hibiscus haze um formula is a little bit different now i do like the original one a little bit more but like i said the new one is not bad at all these are just really pretty colors they go on the skin easily they're easy to blend they're pigmented without being too pigmented and yeah i really do enjoy these blush blushes so so much and then highlighter i just have one highlighter i want to mention this one is from fenty beauty and this is the light diffusing highlighters i do have two shades i have pretty pearl pretty pearls i think that's how you say it in zero one and then zero two prosecco uh, I was about to say prosecco pop but it's just prosecco um, i'll show you the lighter one just because the other one i have is a little bit broken this is what the number one looks like this one's in pretty pearls this looks so pretty on the skin it doesn't emphasize texture it's not glittery or anything like that so you're not gonna it's gonna look like almost like a wet look i'll go ahead i'll go ahead and swatch it for you guys that's what the one looks like i do have to mix the two shades because this one that i'm swatching is a little bit too light for me and then the other one that i have is a little bit too dark but oh you see that glow it gives it just looks wet on the skin you could tell on here on my hand that it looks wet but like i said it doesn't emphasize texture and it's just so pretty it took me a while to like these um highlighters but oh, these are so good highlighters <laughs> if you don't like a beaming highlighter you're probably not gonna like these but if you're into that kind of highlighter you're definitely gonna love those i have one eyeliner i want to mention these are from flower beauty actually two but from the same brand these are the cream and chrome eyeliner duos um i have them in the shade rich brown and rose gold and then i have black and bronze these are so good you guys these last on their waterline for such a long time these are a dupe to the Charlotte Tilbury ones, except these are way, way better than the Charlotte Tilbury ones. These don't smudge. They don't come out of the waterline. If you put it on the top, it'll stay. It doesn't transfer to the bottom. I have really, really uh, watery uh, waterline, is what I'm trying to say. And so it's hard for me to find an eyeliner that I could put in my waterline that doesn't move. These do not move. These And these last a long time. I'm surprised. For being drugstore, these are really good liners. I highly recommend these. And these have definitely been my favorite. I have used these for quite a while now. Like you could tell this one's, ooh, especially, I need to fix this one because it's getting a little wonky in there. Um, but of course I use the rich brown and then the black quite a bit the other two I use them like when I'm going for more of a like a Bronze look then I'll use the two but I mainly reach for the um, Rich brown and the black I have three mascaras Let's start with this one. This one is from L'Oreal and this is the panorama mascara I like this mascara because it gives me both length and volume this is supposed to be a volume mascara but i find that it does give me length and volume is what i like as well now this is what the bristles look like they're kind of short at the end and then they're kind of longer at the other side the wand is not too flimsy which i love i hate a flimsy wand just because i feel like it will get too messy and i i'm i put mascara on messy <laughs> so that's the reason why too i don't like a flimsy wand but this one is not too flimsy 
and yeah it's just like I said it's volume and lengthening it doesn't smudge it doesn't go everywhere and I have just really been loving that mascara I had to put it away because I kept on grabbing for it a lot and then the other one this one is from elf this is the lash extender mascara I like this one because it is a tubey mascara so this is not really gonna move I have found that when I wear it like I've tried wearing this to the beach and it does move just a little bit at the outer corners but not as much as other mascaras and it doesn't flake and that's another thing I forgot to mention about this mascara it doesn't flake as well either um but yeah I mainly like this one because it is a tubey mascara and it's easy to come off at the end of the night I just use my cleansing balm to take off my makeup and then I will get um, a rag and wipe off my face and it doesn't give me raccoon eyes or anything like that this is a really good tubey mascara I'm not crazy about tubey mascaras but like I said this one is good and this does remind me of the thrive one very very similar and then the last mascara is from essence and this is the lash without limits extreme lengthening and volume mascara now I will say this one is my favorite out of the three because this does give me both length and volume again the only thing I don't like about this is that this is such a flimsy wand Ugh, I hate it so I have to be very careful with that but other than that I like the way this makes my eyelashes look and again it doesn't flake I don't have to babysit this and it's really easy to come off at the end of the night I love a mascara that doesn't flake and this one does not flake on me and I love that so much um I think that is it I'm testing another mascara so I don't have this one on today but like I said so far this is my favorite mascara out of the three that I talked about in today's video I have one setting spray I want to mention and woo, let me tell you this is giving my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray a run for her money I am talking about the LA girl pro perfect oil control multitasking setting spray it looks like this you could tell I've used quite a bit of it you guys this is so freaking good <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing it today on half of my face because I am testing out a foundation so I wanted to see side by side and I have to say I'm loving the side with the spray more I feel like this smooths out my skin it keeps me mattifying for a longer period of time and it doesn't without making it look dry or cakey anything like that I feel like this side of my face definitely looks more smoother and matte compared to this side of my face I feel like this side of my face is looking a little bit more dewy than this side this claims that it's supposed to be soft focus effect pore blur blurring powders helps reduce shine extends makeup and hydrates and moisturize so you're probably thinking how's it gonna keep you matte but hydrate and moisturize your skin I don't know but it does <laughs> trust me when I say this is a very good drugstore setting spray it is like I said top of there with my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray you guys know I love that uh, setting spray from Charlotte Tilbury this is definitely coming close to hitting that number one spot so I think that if you don't want to spend the money on the Charlotte Tilbury setting spray get this one this is very similar to that one and I don't think you would be disappointed in this very good high, uh, setting spray now we can finish off with lip products I have two lip liners the first one oh my god this is such a good lip liner I am talking about freck this is the makeout club nude muse lip liner I have it in the shade number three this does not go anywhere this stays on my lips for such a long time uh, again I've used quite a bit of this I could oh I think I might need to get another one because <laughs> I love it so much and no I have quite a bit this has a ton of product like I could tell how much product I've used and I felt like I only had that much left probably but look at how much I still have left so again this doesn't move it stays on for a long period of time and the color is just the perfect color for me I love this uh, lip pencil the only thing I would say is I wish that Freck would come out with more colors if they could come out with more colors of these I'd probably check it out and buy a few more but yeah this is just my perfect nude lip liner and it doesn't go anywhere I love it so much 
And then the other lip liner I have is from Hourglass. Again, same thing. It doesn't go anywhere. It stays on for a longer period of time. I do like the Freck one a little bit more, but I do like the Hourglass because it stays on for a long time. I forgot to mention the Freck one is a retractable one, which also I do love. Um, and then the Hourglass is a sharpen, which I don't love. I don't love sharpened ones. Is it a sharpened one? I don't know now I can't tell this bottom piece is moving I forgot I think it's a sharper one but I don't know I might be mistaken but either way it's a really good one I have it in the shade expose one this is the shape and sculpt lip liner and yeah if you're looking for a lip pencil that stays on for a long period of time these two right here except the freck one is really really good I love these both and then these uh let's do talk about this one this is actually a lipstick this is from makeup by mario and this is the super satin lipstick in south shore you guys this is good this is what the color looks like it's just a pinky brownie like more on the pinky side lipstick I like this one so much more than the original ones he came out with. The other ones are a little bit too matte for me. These ones feel comfortable on the lips. It looks pretty. I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you guys. That is what the color looks like. Again, this one looks more mauve on my skin tone right now just because I am darker. Let me swatch it right here so you guys can see, see the difference. This looks more pinky mauve. That looks more of a true pink color, I would say, but... Yeah, these look very different on my skin tone, but this is just really pretty. I love the way this looks on my lips. Actually, when I'm done with this video, I'm probably going to take off the lipstick that I have on and put this one on because I love it so much. I want to get more of these, but I just haven't been in love with the other colors that he has in the collection. But I don't know. Maybe I'll go a third time to see. <laughs> and then this one from Tower 28. This is the Lip Soft Detinted Lip Treatment. I have it in the shade Dulce de Leche. This is such a nice lip product. It says it's a lip treatment. It feels like a lip gloss. Um, oh, it smells so good. It's so pretty. It's definitely more of a lip gloss, in my opinion, than a lip oil. Um, but it's just pretty on the lips. I like wearing this with a nude lip liner and then putting this all over. And it's just pretty and juicy. And yeah. Like I said, it smells super, super good. They have other um, scents and colors in the collection. Um, so if you're not into like coffee, sorry, I thought I turned my thing down. If you're not into coffee, you're probably not going to like this, but I would definitely check these out, see if there's one that you might like. And then this one, this one's from Tarte. This is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Vinyls. I have it in the, in the shade rosy brown now i know this is not everyone's cup of tea but this is a really good lip product i like it because it makes my lips look juicy it doesn't plump but because it's so juicy it looks like it plumps your lips without like the tingle sensation or feeling any type of um lippy um plumping aspect to it but this is really pretty i will say though you have to tap it onto your lips rather than swiping it because it can get goopy i've seen people talk about this saying oh it's too goopy you know it's too thick it's a mess blah 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 if you just tap it on in the middle and then use your finger you're good to go i promise you it looks so pretty it lasts a really really long time i'm just in love i'm in love with tart lip products the only one that i'm not crazy about is the lip oils but that's just a personal preference i think more people would like the lip oils because um, those, even though I think they're lip, uh, plumping lip oils, even though they say they're plumping, they're not that plumping. They, you can't feel a tingle. So people might like those ones more, but I don't. But this one is a really good product. I really do like this one a lot. And then the last lip product, technically you could use this for your cheeks as well, but I use this mainly for my lips. This is from Milk, and this is called the Cooling Oil water jelly tint it just looks like this i have it in the shade chill i love this for the 
like cold look like if you want to look like you have popsicle lips this is such a great product especially the shade so what i do is i just dab it in the center of my lips and then i will put a nice clear juicy gloss on top and it looks so pretty you guys now i don't like this as a blush i don't use it as a blush i've tried it a couple times and i just don't like it. it's just too patchy and yeah i just don't like it but for the lips oh, it's so pretty i want to try to see if i can get another one but i don't think the other colors are gonna do what i want it to do but yeah really pretty and another thing too this can uh like separate if your lips are dry so just make sure you exfoliate your lips or keep them nice and moist before you put this on because it can separate a little bit if you're not careful if your uh, lips are dry. But other than that, I really do like it and it's, it's a really good product. Just I don't like it as a blush. Alright you guys, those were all the best and worst products of 2024 so far for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what have you guys been loving this year so far. What have you guys not been loving this year so far. I would definitely love to know. But until the next time, I will catch you guys later. Bye!